I'd have thought that was obvious. But do take heart. If word of your preposterously gruesome demise reaches just one hesitant Decepticon and terrifies him into staying the course, then all the pain you've suffered would have been worth it. But the war's what? The war's over. <laughs> oh, Black Shadow, that's sweet, but the war won't be over until Megatron says so. And he'll say nothing until he presides over a society so peaceful that the very notion of conflict is literally inconceivable. As he writes in Towards Peace, My weapon is my burden, a reminder of the path I was forced to take. When the word weapon is emptied of meaning, when the purpose of a weapon is impossible to grasp, when the rejection of my weapon is of significance to no one other than myself, only then shall I remove it from my arm, because only then will I have earned the right to rid myself of this burden. I could go on, but uh, listen, hmm? have you noticed? I've stopped the music. Is that significant? Why, yes, yes it is. You're thinking, I've seen what the other four can do. But their leader, with his fine music and his literary quotations and his double fusion cannon, what makes him so special? Well, here's the thing. They say I can talk people to death. Weaponized conversation, they say. I don't know, I say. Sounds a bit pretentious. Maybe so, they say. But you can modulate the timbre of your voice so that it falls in step with the pulse of the listener's spark. Well, I say, there is that. And then, by gradually lowering your voice, they say you can coax the spark into giving up. That's what they say. What do you say? 